Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Compsize Studio, and welcome back to your ninth Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning about relational operators. So basically, what relational operators are is it relates two values. Uh, you, well, it's usually in some type of statement, like an if statement or something. It's basically comparing two values on the left side to the right side. So yeah, let's jump right into it. We're going to be learning uh, one, two. I think like six relational operators but it'll be really quick don't worry about it it's really easy you guys you guys will catch on to it really quick you guys are smart I know so uh, let's make an integer variable right now so let's call it int age and we'll set it equal to like 89 or something uh, so yeah first thing we want to make is an if statement and let's check if the age is exactly equal to 34 now let's just put our curly brackets and we'll make a little print statement so I am 34, and then let's make an else statement just in case it, uh, it's, the age is not equal to 34. Else, uh, let's just put no because I'm too lazy to type out the rest. Um, so yeah, right now, if you guys don't really know why I'm using a double equal sign instead of a single equal sign, this is just because when you're using a single equal sign, you're basically um, you're you're assigning the variable a number this one we're relating it so whenever you use a double equal sign you're just, you're figuring out if it is equal to the 34 so we're finding out if age is actually equal to 34 but here we're assigning the value 89 to age so it's a little bit confusing but you guys will get you guys will catch on to it pretty quick uh, so yeah let's just run it right now uh, so right now we get no because age is actually equal to 89 so the statement returns false and it skips down to this one and prints out no. So if we put in, uh, here's another type of uh, relational operator, it's actually the not equal to sign. So this is basically going to say, is age not equal to 34? So let's run that and figure it out. And it says, I am 34, well that's that statement is no longer true, but as you can see, age is not equal to 34, uh, so it prints out I am 34. That's pretty darn confusing. I should probably change that. So I am not equal to 34. So yeah, that's that'll make more sense. So as you can see, it prints out I am not equal to 34 because age up here is equal to 89 and it's not equal to 34. So hope I didn't confuse you guys right there. Um, so yeah, let's move on to another uh, relational operator. Let's check out the greater than sign. So right here, it's just going to compare if age is greater than 34. So it is, so it says, okay, again, that doesn't make any sense. Let's put in some random gibberish. There we go. That makes sense. So now it prints out, since age is greater than 34, it's going to print out all that gibberish. And if we put, here's another uh, assignment operator, or relational operator, sorry, uh, less than 34. If we ran this we get no because 89 is is greater than 34 not less than 34 um, so the last two that we're gonna be learning is the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to sign so let's go over the less than or equal to less than or equal to basically it uh, kills two birds with one stone so um, it checks if it's less than or if it's equal to it it'll also run this statement so if the number is less than or that less than it or equal to it it'll run it so in this case it won't run either because it's just going to print out no because age is actually greater than 34. So if we had like 89 here, it'll actually run it'll actually run this gibberish here because age is equal to uh, 89. So the last one is just the greater than or equal to. Um, let's it as like 1000 1000 there we go we ran it and there you go we get no because age is not greater than 1000 uh, if we put one we would get that gibberish and if we put 89 we would also get the gibberish because it's greater than or equal to so I know this may be a little bit confusing at the start, but 
believe me, you'll catch on to it. This is used a lot in game programming, so if you want to get into game programming, you have to have this stuff down pat because there's a lot of uh, if statements, and uh, we're going to be getting into for loops. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of if statements, for loops, relational operators, and game programming. So definitely get this down. Make your own little programs with these relational operators. Uh, make some else if statements along with it. Just get some practice with it, and once you get practiced up, like you'll get it in no time. So yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial again. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.